In this video, I'll take a look at the new sky replacement tool in Adobe Photoshop 2021. I will try it out on two different images. The second one should be a bit more challenging, so make sure to stick till the end to see how it turns out. Let's go. Here we are in Photoshop and I've got my image open up with this nice blue clear sky. And let's see how the sky replacement tool is gonna work on this image. So to do it, I'm just gonna click on edit and sky replacement. And in just a couple of seconds, we have a different sky. This is kinda cool, isn't it? Now let's see what we've got here. We have some default sky images that we can flip through and see if we find something that will match our image. We can obviously add a new image of our own. And after we've picked our image, let's say I'm gonna go with this one. We can then go ahead and tweak some of these settings to better match the new sky. Okay, so let's go from the top. We have the shift edge setting, which we control the edge of the mask. As you can see how it affects the blending of the background and the foreground. Let's leave it at about this area. We can choose to fade the edge. So if I reduce it, I will get less fade effect. We can control the brightness of the sky. Let's increase it a bit to match the foreground, which is the building itself. And we can control the temperature. We can give it a yellowish tint or make it cooler. We can also change the scale, make it larger. If we go below 100, we start to see the edge of the sky. So I recommend only go up in this parameter. Now we can also flip the sky horizontally. This is good when we have, let's say, a sun that coming from the right or the left. You, know, you wanna make sure that, that the shadows on the clouds are going the same way as the sun direction. Next, we have control of the foreground. We can set the uh, lighting mode, either for screen or multiply. And this is something you need to test on each image and see what fits better. So let's make it on screen. I think it's gonna work better. And maybe reduce the lighting a bit of the foreground. And we can also add a little bit adjustment to the overall color of the building in order to better match it to the background. Now, as you can see, it's not gonna make a huge difference. So let's leave it right about here. Let's see the before and after. Now, we have an option to choose an output. We can either output it as a duplicate layer or as a set of new layers. Let's keep it on new layers and set OK. And as you can see, all the adjustments we've just made are now visible in this sky replacement group. The brightness that we did, the color change, we can see the mask and so on. Now let's try to make it a little bit difficult for the sky replacement tool and see how it will perform. So right now I'm going to search for a free image. Let's see, go to the architecture. And let's search for something a bit more difficult to manage. Okay, so forget architecture. This seems a little bit tougher to manage. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out, but let's see. I'm gonna download it and open it up in Photoshop. Let's go to Edit, Sky Replacement. Wow, <laughs> okay, wow, Th this is actually very surprising. Wow, oh man. Okay, let's, let's try it and change. I didn't expect it to do it so well. Okay. Now 
Now the only thing that I can see that it's kind of missing, I think it's the power line over here, as you can see, but uh, you can still see it. Let's see if we can, okay, a little bit of tweaking and And there you go. Let me know what you think about this tool in the comments below. And if you have any questions or requests, I will be replying to all of your comments. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, subscribe and I'll see you next time.